Hello and welcome to the final sequence of the Making Space in Music voice lessons. Woo! We have made it. Congratulations. You have worked very hard with us, or hopefully not too hard, but very focused with us. And hopefully you've learned a lot. And just as a recap, we'll talk about the different elements. I'm going to go through and hit on some different elements. And then finally add the last and possibly the most important part about singing, which is expression. Expression! Express yourself! Expression! <laughs> expression. Because what is singing? What's disconnected singing? What's, what's singing without meaning? No one wants to listen to it, you know, and, and no one, it's not fun to sing either. So we're going to be talking about some different elements of expression, different things that you can do with your body, your face, and your voice to make it meaningful for all parties involved. And hopefully, most importantly, yourself. Yeah. So we will start with the warm up. And... So elements of before you warm up, you want to be hydrated. You know, you've heard that a million times already. So important. You want to have a good posture. You do some shoulder rolls. Reduce tension. Really check in with your body before you begin. Anything that happened before, anything that you are worried about does not matter right now it's just you and your voice and your body so we're gonna button to the floor and right here drag all inhale up arms to the side wonderful i feel the raised sternum you close your eyes and sway on your right foot. Close your eyes and sway on your left foot. And since we're being expressive, let's add some dancing into it so you can take up more space. We've just been singing very much here. Mm. So reach out. Get back more. <laughs> reach out all the way with your right arm. Reach out all the way with your left arm. And almost as if there's someone you want right over there, but you can't reach it. Oh, that with your face too, like, ah, oh, I just want that thing. Now it's over there, but I can't get it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And now, channel some, some fury to your right arm. In your face. God, I just want that thing. Now it's over there. <laughs> why are you, why are you right here? Why can't I get you? That's what you want to channel. Right <laughs> now. We're going to go through a whole range of emotions. <sighs> now we're really happy because we did Why are you over there? <laughs> Come here! It's like a dog. Why are you over there? <laughs> so yes, knife away with your legs, get the whole body involved. Good. Shake it out. Shake it out. Uh, we'll do a facial warm up now. So, think. Drop, try and drop, check in, or smile really, really big, like, just, yeah, scrunch your nose. Now, frown. And move your, your jaw and your tongue. Ah. Get weird here. All of your eyebrows, they can do many things. I try and wiggle one and then the other. I'm going to do the wave. Get all parts out of here. Expressive. All of your expressive features active, because there's a lot of them, because we are singers. Oh, let me see. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, get some, just make as many weird movements as you can with your face. Do not worry about looking weird, because no one can see you. See how many things it can do, huh? Awesome. Now look at, if you're in the mirror, you can make it yourself, but if you're with somebody else, look at your neighbor and make it a space of disgust. Now, make a face of happiness. Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we already kind of covered many elements that 
make a performance or just singing more meaningful. The first one that we will be talking about is dynamics. So, what, what am I doing right now that I wasn't doing before, Melissa? You're speaking really quietly. Yeah. So this, we can do that when we sing too, to make a point, right? What, at what points of a song would we sing quietly? Uh, maybe something that, I don't know, it depends on the song. It depends on the song really, but say you have a really sad part of the song. Yeah, to show, to show tenderness. Yeah. To, to, or to show contrast. Gentleness. Yeah. So dynamics, we have that. Yeah. That's called pianissimo, PP. And then we have forte, which is the opposite, which is very loud. Oh! Yes. And dynamics are my favorite thing to work with with music because they require a lot of breath control. And in fact, get your straw or something, or you can just use your lips or lip buzz. And we're gonna practice on a singular note. We would like to play it again. We're gonna do this exercise. So try and start softly or pianist mount. Yes, so over, I'm gonna count eight beats and try at beat four, try and be loud and then recede. One, two, ready, go. Great. Half step up. One, two, ready, soft. Next one. Next one. Awesome. Ooh, nice. That's great. So that is called crescendo and decrescendo. Crescendo, decrescendo. <laughs> so you can do that with you when you sing to make a point. You can do my one of my other favorite ones. They're all my favorite. <laughs> facial expressions. Facial expressions. So we have a, vi a variety of different facial expressions. And this is something you can just practice in the mirror. Just be like, you can even just close your eyes and just let yourself be disgusted. Just do, let your face do what it normally does. And then open your eyes and be like, oh, God, that's what my disgust face looks yeah. like. And it's probably not as dramatic as, you know, you see actors. So really figuring out your different contortions of your face, you can, uh, you can do it in the mirror. Let's yeah. practice when you sing. So we could have a smile. It could be really sad. It could be angry, which is good eyebrow furrow. You can practice furrowing your eyebrows. Angry. Could be anxious. Worried. Yeah, so maybe widen your eyes for that one. Um, and then joyful. Just open your mouth a little bit. <laughs> yes. And then another component is emphasizing your text. So, if you're angry, what does somebody normally do when they're angry? They yell. Mm. Or they're very sharp with their words. Uh, let's just say you have a dog. Momo, get off the couch right now! <laughs> you know? So, my dog's name is Momo. So, really emphasizing certain words is a great way to express yourself in a text. So now that you have those three elements, there's many more, but we'll just talk about those three for today. We have dynamics, we have expression in your face, and we have emphasis on the text. So now I will apply these elements to a song that you already know, Mrs. Shady. And if you have forgotten the words, here they are. So, sh 
Should I sing the first phrase? I'll sing it sad. I'll sing the whole song sad. And observe, you sing with me. Sing the whole song as sad as you can and just notice what it does to your sound. Okay. Ready? All right. Yes. Oh, Mrs. Sheedy, she was a lady. She had a daughter that I adored. I went to court her, I mean her daughter. Every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday afternoon and half past That is not how we sang it before. <laughs> and I even realized that maybe this person is just so tired of I know. proposing to this daughter. She keeps saying no. Yeah, it totally changes the meaning of it. Uh-huh. And it's a happy tune, so it's it's hard to it's kind of funny, right, to sing that song sad, but it gives the listener, oh, a different idea of what's happening internally to the person singing. So now I'm gonna sing it. Angrily. Oh, Mrs. Shady, she was a lady. She had a daughter that I adored. I went to court her, I mean her daughter. Every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday afternoon and half. Deeper meaning. The deeper meaning. The, the, the expression beyond language is what we are after right now. So now I'm going to sing this song in a sly way. And you shall do the same. Okay? Okay. Oh, Mrs. Shane. Record yourself. That's huge. Yeah. Don't be afraid to record yourself acting out any song that you may choose. And you don't even have to look at yourself when you record it. You can just put your phone or whatever device you might have and record yourself singing. Yeah. And we are oftentimes our own worst critic. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. And it is scary to watch ourselves sing and to hear ourselves sing, but it is such, it can be such a beautiful experience if you just let your own inner critic drop and just really witness yourself and try and channel some of those emotions that you might have into your song, whatever song it may be, and watch it and really see like, wow, when I move my arm that way, that really made a difference or wow when my face did that or when my voice emphasized that i really felt like i was onto something there and that's the artist's way of singing right yeah you make impact in the very tiny details and whatever is meaningful to you will translate and if it doesn't 
cares? <laughs> as long as you're having fun and you're enjoying what you're doing and it's meaningful to you. Now with that, I just pointed out emphasis on text. The emphasis on the right syllable? Yes, exactly. We haven't talked about that with Mrs. Shady. So any song that you have, notice the sentences of the entire song and what words are actually the, the highlight of the song. So, or the prettiest words to sing. Shady. So, oh, Mrs. Shady, she was a lady. I would say the shady and lady, right? So, I'm just gonna sing that first line. Mm -hmm. I'll do it slower. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, Mrs. Shady. I'll emphasize different words this time and uh, we'll, see, we'll what see what happens. Okay. Regular tempo. to court her. I don't know. Let's try and do Amazing Grace now. Shall we? We'll transfer to a real song. And this song is very special and it should not be sung lightly. Um, and But it is a song that is available. Most people know it, which is why we chose to include it in this, this video. the sorrow of feeling like there was nothing that could save me. As much as I personally could connect to that song with my privilege, as much as I could connect, I tried to connect with feeling like I, there was nothing before, but now there is something that brings me peace. So I alternated between, I think two different facial expressions and modes there while I was singing and I tried to be mindful of that. So these are all elements that make a good singer better. <laughs> yeah. And as as long again as long as it's meaningful to you, then that that should translate. And if you're really into it, I think other people will will also enjoy. So to recap everything that we talked about <laughs> in our Again, we have. Please take care of your instrument. It is with you for your entire life. Can't get a new one. And thank you so much for allowing us to be your voice coaches. Yes. We want. We thought really hard about things we wanted to share with you, and uh, this is what we came up with. So I hope it has served you in some way. I hope you could take something from it, and it will develop your vocal growth and just your confidence as a person and um, bring you some peace 
And so, anyway, sorry, got a little sentimental there. <laughs> so we, we talked about vocal health, we talked about posture and breath, we talked about vowels, we talked about consonants, consonants diction, all the different things that you can do with your voice. Then we talked about solfege. We went through a voice lesson with Melissa. And now we went, we talked about expression. So there's a lot more. Do not stop studying voice if you have, you, you can look, the internet, if you, if you have access to the internet, there are plenty of resources available. If you don't, the only knowledge you need is just to sit in a room by yourself and sing. You already have all of the answers within you. You're just getting supplemental information. So anyway, thank you so much yes, for tuning you. in, making space, and we hope you have a wonderful rest of your singing life. Yeah. <laughs> Keep Bye. singing. Keep singing.